Do you think that all of these stocks are just going to continue to get crushed? Yeah, I mean, the Fed has basically come out yesterday and said their best weapon against inflation is to raise rates, and we've got to stop inflation. You know, the benchmark that I typically use for cloud software companies right now is Microsoft. It's trading about 10 times next 12 months revenue. That's compared to 12.3 times at the peak in November. Now, if you compare that to our SaaS bucket in the in cloud, at the peak, it was at 23.9 in November. It's now trading at 13. So that bifurcation between top growth stock companies that we saw in Q4, it's totally shrunk. And we've redefined what growth means. So I think with the Fed saying they're going to continue to raise rates throughout the year, we're going to see those, those multiples compress. However, the, the really breakout companies in the M cloud, those that are you know, growing 40, 50, 60 percent, they're still seeing multiples somewhere around 28. So Cloudflare, Snowflake, Bill.com, Zscaler, Datadog, those are the best in class companies. And I think they'll be able to grow through you know, multiple rate increases as, as, as well as uh, geopolitical uh, uh, instability in Europe. So are you, does that mean you're moving money into them? Or, and is you think there's going to be a real growth rate during this period? Or do you sort of sit on the sideline and if, if, you, if you've got money in them already, you just hold? Yeah, I think there's a, a certain class of growth stocks that it's worth holding your money in. Again, those that are trading, you know, anywhere from 15 to 20 times, all of those are growing north of 40, 50 percent, have strong fundamentals, uh, big market opportunities, great unit economics. That's how we look at it. The Bessemer rule of 40, which combines not only just growth rate, but their ability to generate free cash flow in the future. You know, before, let's call it six months ago, we would have said, put all of your capital in the M cloud. And now what I think we're seeing is there's still good, valuable companies in that basket but we would really target those that are growing 30, 40, 50% and above. And what do you do with the Microsofts of the world? Oh, those are great holds. So, you know, those are great holds, Azure. but not great entry point. I, I guess what I'm trying to figure out is there, some of these seem to be great holds, but uh, the other question is, is there any that you say we're at some kind of great entry point even in this moment? Yeah, I mean, if you look historically where we are now, somewhere between 12 and 14 times on, on a valuation revenue multiple basis, historically over the last decade, that's typically where it's range. We're coming out of a peak in November or Q4 of last year. So I think this is actually a good entry point. Again, I would just focus on the companies that have that combination of high growth, uh, you know, profitable or, or at least break even, and those that have strong fundamentals and a big market opportunity ahead. Anything you'd short? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a private capital venture capitalist, so I, I'm still shorting the deals that are getting done in our market in the, you know, 50x, 75x, and even sometimes 100x. But in the public markets, I think if you look at the, the, the best cloud software companies in the world, it's a decent entry point. And, and again, as long as you're, you're optimizing for efficiency and growth, I think you'll be in a great stead for the years to come.